Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So MinSwap has gone live on the mainnet. Great to see another AMM DEX on Cardano. So people are also starting to notice that there might be arbitrage opportunities between MinSwap and SundaySwap. So what I'll do here is take you through what that all is and that it's not just as simple as buying cheap on one DEX and selling higher on another. There's a few other factors you need to take into account to make sure you will make a profit. Also, the LBE, you have two days left to swap your per ADA for LP tokens if you haven't done that. So I'll take you through that. The giveaway I announced last week for the Cheeky Crypto NFT, I'll give that away at the end of this video. And we'll also do another one for next week as well, because I did really like the creative comments below the last video. Timestamps will be below. So let's jump into it. Okay, we will start out here with the MinSwap DEX. If you're new, actually, don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a like as well and share it out if others can benefit from this. So the MinSwap DEX, you can see up on top, it's all about liquidity, providing liquidity or your liquidity. And then down here, you have all of the different pairs that are listed on the exchange right now. The TVL, the volume, the price, queuing. So this is similar to SundaySwap, where SundaySwap have scoopers and so MinSwap then have what they're calling Laminar, that is their system for batching. Right now, they run that completely themselves, but I think the long-term plan is to try and decentralize that and let others in the community run the bots on that side. APR then will be for yield farming. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. It's not live just yet. So a feature that I actually like here as well is that if you go into top tokens, you can see the different tokens that are trading, price, volume, market cap isn't in yet, but hopefully we will see that fairly soon as well. So nice feature there just to see what are the top tokens on the exchange. For liquidity then, what you have here is you can come in and add liquidity. So if I click on add liquidity, it's the same as normal. I put in whatever tokens I want to put in. So if I wanted to put in 10 ADA and let's say it was min. So for 10 ADA, I would also need to put in 37.4 min. With MinSwap, they also have another feature here called Zap. So right now I don't have the second token to put in. So what I could do is go to Zap here. And what it's saying is Zap is an easy way to provide liquidity. Basically what they do is if I put up one token, I put up ADA, it will then take half of the ADA that I put in and it will sell that for the other token and create the liquidity pair from that. So let's say, uh, let's do it. In here, what happens is if I put up 10 ADA in here, I then select the LP position that I want. So let's stick with min what I was saying there. So min LP. So what it would do is sell half of my ADA for min and then I would get back this amount of LP tokens. Now the tokens are sold. It doesn't mean that when I try and cash this out, I get only ADA back. When I try to withdraw this liquidity, I will get back both tokens at that stage, but it just helps you to skip one stage if you want. You can just put in the one token and it does the selling for you on the background. The other option then on liquidity, if I come into pool here, you can go to pool for your liquidity stuff up here or you can come down here and you have it on the top. There's the zap feature to go straight to it, add liquidity or my liquidity here. So when you have liquidity positions in, this is where you'll be able to see them. You can see the latest details on them. So you can see on this one, I have 25.7 ADA and I have 96 min in this. So this was a test position I put into the LBE. If we look at the LBE here, so anyone who got involved in this, if you haven't swapped your per ADA yet for LP tokens, you need to do that within the next two days, because if you don't, then the per ADA will be useless at that stage. So when you come in, if your wallet's connected, it will pick up the balance that you have. All you have to do is click redeem, redeem your per ADA. It will send the per ADA and three ADA off to MinSwap. They then send you back 2.5 ADA and the LP tokens as well. And that's what you can see here. This is what I got back here. So at this point, I could withdraw this liquidity. If I click on remove 100%, I can take out all of these tokens here, or I can wait. And when yield farming starts, I can put them in to yield farm then as well. But I will touch on that next week as well. So that's it on MinSwap. So now we'll take a look at arbitrage. What is it and how 
could it potentially work for you? Okay, you can see here now I have Sunday Swap on the left, I have Min Swap on the right. And what we're going to do is take a look down through them and see is there a price discrepancy on any of the pairs that there is potentially an advantage there. And I'll give you some tips on some of the things you need to take into consideration that it's not just as simple as the price being slightly different on one exchange to the other. You also have to take into account price slippage, TVL, and the actual fees that you will pay for the transactions. So across the wider cryptocurrency space, this has been used for years, this type of method. Now there's probably a lot of bots out there that do it. So the opportunities, there's not really that many opportunities for doing it manually. With Cardano, as it's only new to this type of trading, I'd say there might be opportunities if you keep your eyes open, because right now I would say there's probably not, if any, bots doing this right now. So if we look at Sunday Swap, things to take into account is TVL. Personally, I would only do it on ones that have a bigger TVL. This means that there is liquidity there, that if I have a token that I can actually sell it without having a big impact on the price. So if I look over here, these are the tokens. The top five over here are the ones that I would probably use over a million, even Dana, depending on what was on the Sunday Swap side. So let's take a look at Meld and see what the price is on Sunday Swap. So if I look for Meld, I can see 0 0.161 is the price on Sunday Swap, and it's a very similar price on MinSwap, so no real advantage there. Let's look at World Mobile. Actually, we look at Min, but I don't think the volume is much for Min over here. So there's not a huge amount of locked tokens here. You can see that it's slightly more expensive on Sunday Swap, so if I had bought tokens on MinSwap and tried to sell them, it looks there there might be a bit of an advantage, but I think based on that volume, I wouldn't get much there. So we'll go to World Mobile, which is third on the list here. I can see 0 0.848 and 0 0.853. So a slight price difference. We'll look at, next up is Pavia. We'll have a look at that one and see. Pavia. Decent locked volume, 0 0.061. And again, small discrepancy in the price. So we'll check finally liquid and then we'll make the decision. So liquid, I can see 107.97 here. And if I look on here, I have... Okay, so liquid seems to be one that has a decent price or the biggest price difference. So we'll use that as the example. So swap LQ ADA. And over here, I'm going to swap ADA and LQ. So actually, it was cheaper on Sunday Swap, I think. Wasn't it 107 yet? So it's cheaper on Sunday Swap. So what we'll do is I'm going to put in 100 ADA. And over here, it says that I would get back 0 0.92 liquid. If I then bring this over here, so say I do this trade and I come over to liquid or to min swap then to see what I would get back. You see, when I put it in here, I would actually only get back 99.84 ADA for that trade. Even though the price is slightly higher on MinSwap, it just comes in that the slippage that's potentially there, that could make up a big difference there. So even not taking fees into account, considering that to do the trade on Sunday Swap, I will cost in around three ADA over there. And on MinSwap, it'll be in around that three ADA as well. By the time you take the batcher fees or the scooper fees, plus the TX fees as well. You can see, say, another six ADA to add to this transaction. So really on this, I would end up down maybe 6 .6 ADA on this trade because I'd be losing slightly on this. And then I take the fees into account then. So the price difference, there has to be a decent price difference there. And again, as you go bigger on this as well, when you're trading with bigger amounts, the fees, the six ADA that you will incur for the two sets of transactions, that doesn't really count as much. But if you are trading smaller amounts, I would say right now, even if people are saying about great arbitrage opportunities, they're probably not there right now. But keep your eyes open. If you see that these things match up, that there is decent TVL on both sides, the price difference, there's a decent price difference. Check it out like this. See on one side what you will actually be getting. Put that in then on the other decks to see what you would get back. Because right now with trades, they're going through in one to two minutes on both exchanges. So fairly quick. So the prices should be fairly okay when you actually go to sell on the other side.
hope this helps on the liquid on the arbitrage what it is opportunities that are there and just keep your eyes open when you're looking at these different price points okay and then the giveaway for the cheeky verse nft that the guys over at cheeky crypto have given me i'll put a link to their medium post down below if you haven't seen what it's all about and what the nft series the vip pass is going to give you so over here it was the video where i announced it i've copied the url so i'm going to filter out duplicate users and filter comments based on the text cheeky so you can see down here if i click get youtube comments there's 79 comments so if i go then to pick a random person that left a comment and it is ds team 0507 thanks for all the good info have a cheeky good day so I'll leave a comment on that down below where you left your comment and reach out to me and give me an ADA address and I'll be able to send over the NFT then as well. Okay, and for this video, then the giveaway for this one, we will do it with, let's do 50 Sunday Swap and 100 Min Swap will be the giveaway for this video. Leave a comment down below. What's a common word for a cat and ice cream? Let's say cream. Use cream as in your comment below. Make it creative if you can. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share the video out there, and I will pick that winner next week, next week as well. Have a good weekend, guys. Thanks for watching.